Hi everyone, it is Holly the Twister Sister here back again with another Tutorial Tuesday just for you guys. What is all this? If you're new here, um, I became the Twister Sister by turning a hobby and a passion of mine, which is balloon animals, into a successful business and now I like to help other people do the same thing. So every Tuesday we do a free balloon animal tutorial. And this week, I know I say this every week, but you guys, this is so cute. Okay, so um, if you go to any store right now, um, of course the aisles are flooded with red and pink Valentine's stuff. And I don't know about your stores, but in mine there's sloths everywhere. Like everywhere. It seems like sloths and unicorns are the only animal options for Valentine's Day in 2019. I know there's other ones, but that's what I see the most of. Um, and so I have a sloth that I just taught at Capital Convention. And if you're a YouTube channel member, you got that video for free. You got that whole class that I taught at Capital Convention for free. So make sure to check your members area um, and get that video. But I wanted to do a simple, easier sloth version for a tutorial Tuesday video. So I came up with this really cute little guy that I think you guys are just going to love. And so that's what we're gonna do today. So since it's Valentine's Day, we've got like one week left, um, we're going to turn this into a Valentine's sloth, but you could use the same sloth and use it for the rest of the year just by attaching it to uh, different things, a tree or something else. So we're going to do a heart for our sloth to hold on to. Um, so we're going to start with the base and this is designed to be either a princess wand or you can make it a hat or a centerpiece. Um, so we're going to need a six petal flower and I'm going to be using just a light pink 260 and I want to keep my loops kind of small on this so I'm just going to fold it over just a little bit like that and grab that knot a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> grab that knot and pull it on through and we're just going to do six loops about that same size and if you've seen David Bren's video he used to be David Brennan. Now he is David Bren. Uh, he has a really great video teaching how to do this. If you guys aren't uh, familiar, or if this is all brand new to you, <laughs> so I will link to that video in the description if you need some practice on just doing a little flower base. Okay, so we've got our six petal flower base. And then I've got a fully, almost fully inflated fuchsia. This is a Vitalitex color and it's one of my favorites. Um, this is like the perfect, like hot, pretty pink. Okay, and I've super, super under inflated this. So it's really, really soft and squishy. Um, but first I'm going to tie both ends together. Just make a little knot like that. And we're going to take our tails from tying that and we're going to wrap them into the middle of our flower base here. So I'm just gonna bring those down and pull them nice and tight so that uh, top loop is really snug in there. Okay, and we're gonna shape this loop into a heart. Now if you saw my, uh, I think it was the gorilla video where I went into um, some detail on how to shape things into hearts, but basically I'm gonna find the middle point out here and we're gonna bring that down into the uh, beginning of our balloon like that. I'm gonna grab this middle part and we're really gonna squeeze it and give it a nice massage. <laughs> this is how we're gonna give this thing some shape. You can put the handle from your flower, just tuck it under your arm, and that'll help you hold on to this heart thing while we are shaping it. And then another thing you can do is while you're holding the middle point down towards the bottom, you just squeeze around these outer lobes, and kind of round them out, make them more circular and rounded. Squeeze the middle again, and then also squeeze at the uh, base. So get both hands squeezing like you're milking a cow. <laughs> okay, and then you'll have a nice pretty little heart shape and this is gonna be perfect for our sloth. So this would be fun just by itself, right? That's kind of a nice little design. 
um, but we're gonna like 10x this. So the first balloon that you need for the sloth is a 360 toffee. Now you could also do like a 350 blush color balloon or even some of the ivory shades, off-white shades. I think toffee is perfect, so that's what I'll be using. So 360 on this, and I've only blown it up enough to have two bubbles. So I'm gonna twist it in half. So I've got two bubbles about the same size. And then I'm gonna take both ends of my balloon and we're gonna bring them up and tie them together in a nice tight double knot. Maybe a triple knot, <laughs> get it really good. Okay, now we're just going to cut off the ends of that so we've just got our two bubbles. All right, now you're gonna grab a, this is another fun new Batalitex color. This is called Grage, and it is the perfect color for sloths and squirrels and raccoons. <laughs> um, and so I've inflated it with about a three, two to three inch tail here at the end. And we're gonna start off at the very beginning by making a little pinch twist. So just a small round bubble. You take that knot and wrap it down around that twist you just made. Okay, so we've got our little pinch twist up here. I'm gonna squeeze out your balloon as you're working. We're going to decide, let's see. I'm gonna put my pinch twist right in the middle of this um, two bubble thing, okay? We're gonna wrap our grayish balloon all the way around, sandwiching our toffee balloon inside there, like that, okay? And then once you get back to the pinch twist, then you can just wrap your balloon right into the pinch twist. Okay, so we have this now. This is gonna be our sloth head, and then we just have the one pinch twist here. Okay, so he's gonna be hanging on his back, so we want to um, just leave it like that. Now we're going to make his body, which is just gonna be a three bubble body. So I'm gonna come down about four inches or so, make a twist, come back up into the pinch twist, the neck, and twist both of those together. Okay, and then we're gonna go back down. You're gonna have to do a roll through. So I'm gonna twist off a bubble, and then I'm gonna roll that bubble through the middle of my other two by pushing it through with my thumbs. Okay, so there we go. And then uh, the sloth, I'm gonna do two little loops for his back legs, just right beside each other, one and two. And then whatever is left, this is gonna be his tail and sloths do not have very long tails. So we're going to just cut off the end of this and, and let some air out until you've got just a short little bubble for a sloth tail. And then cut off the ends to clean it up and you can position it like this. So the head is facing off to the side. We've got the pinch twist right underneath it. Um, his tummy is the two bubbles, and we've got his two legs and his little tail on the bottom, because he's gonna be hanging upside down and looking over his shoulder like this, okay? So we've gotta add his arms on next. So grab another grayish balloon, and this one I've left a long tail just because we're not gonna use all of this. And we're gonna do his little claw hand thing. So it's just a, about a one and a half inch bubble and then a small little pinch twist. And that'll kind of give that sort of effect of like some claw hands, <laughs> okay? And then I like to fold the balloon over, and just give it a little shock twist there uh, for an elbow. And then we're gonna twist it off. So there is one sloth arm and his arms are going to attach right here underneath his head. So you can just wrap your balloon around there one full time and then get the remaining balloon coming out the other side. So we have one arm like that and then we'll just do the other arm here which is coming out the back. So I'm gonna fold it over and squeeze it to make an elbow, come up, do a small pinch twist and then squeeze it out and just twist off our last little bubble here. And I'm gonna get rid of the rest, tie that off, and voila. 
So now you have a sloth. Oops, let's arrange him correctly. There we go. So this, I know it doesn't look quite right yet, but wait, because we're not done. Um, but this sloth is kind of fun because he looks the same from either side. And so you could give him one face, well, like one facial expression on one side and then another one on the other side or the same. Um, but that way this design would look good from either way that you look at it. He could be like awake on one side and sleeping on the other side. So just kind of something fun to play with there. Now before I attach him to the heart that we made, I wanna go ahead and do the artwork. That way there's less balloon to hold on to and keep out of the way. So to do the face on the sloth, I'm gonna be using three things. I've got a brown Sharpie, a black marker, a permanent marker, and a white paint pen. So I'm gonna start with my black. This is one of the big permanent markers, but you can use Sharpies too and just decide which side you're gonna draw on first. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn his head a little bit even more just so I can get to what I want to draw without his arm being in the way. And we're just gonna start with a black dot in the center of the head for the nose. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the little smiley face right now. Okay, so just a simple smiley face line. Next, we're gonna work on his eyes. And so I've got a brown Sharpie. This is a brush tip Sharpie, which I love. And um, it's actually a little bit dried out. I think my toddler got a hold of this and left the cap off. But I actually really like sort of the hairy textured look that it gives for the sloth eye. So you can see it's not perfectly like filled in and brown. It looks kind of hairy almost. So it's actually perfect for the sloth. So thank you, toddler. <laughs> but we're just basically doing some big ovals um, for his eye spots. All right, I think now it's getting a little bit too dried out, but still it looks cute. That is what we've got there. Do you guys see it? It's coming along now, isn't it? Okay, so now we're gonna take a black permanent marker again, and we're gonna do just big round circles inside of the black spots that we made. Okay, so do the same thing over here. There we go. You guys see how cute he is? You can give him some little eyebrows. Oh my goodness, can't even. We're gonna take a white paint pen. I'm using the Posca paint markers. And I'm just gonna do white little highlight dots on each eye. And this just really finishes off this little design. So cute like that oh my goodness you guys do you see how cute this is nose can you see that it's <laughs> so cute okay and then if you really wanted to go above and beyond and i should have had this ready for the video but i didn't you can get some um, pink face paint and put a little blush on his cheek areas oh my goodness this would be like too cute so once you've got your face on Oh my goodness, do you guys see this? Okay, um, <laughs> then you can grab your heart and we're just going to have him hanging on to the top of our heart. So you can bring both of his hands together and you can tie these two tails together or you can take one of your tails and wrap it around the other hand's pinch twist. Um, and that's another way. I'm just gonna cut off this little tail since I'm not using it. And then just arrange your sloth so that he's hanging on to this heart. Okay, are you guys seeing this? Do y'all see how cute this is? Oh my goodness, like I can't even, I've peaked y'all. I think I've peaked. I will never create anything as good as this again. <laughs> so that is our cute little sloth valentine balloon um, again you could leave this like this and have it as a wand or stick for someone to hold on to or you could cut off the stick part and just have the base set these on tables as centerpieces you could put them on candy cups or even on a headband for a really big eye-catching piece so this is the simple sloth Again, if you want to learn a more advanced sloth, we have the Capital Convention replay available for my YouTube channel members. 
and the clip art for this cute little guy is also ready for you and that is also free for the YouTube channel members as well so you can either go grab it for $1.50 or if you're a member just go download it for free you can add this to your Valentine balloon twisting menus and really make some people's day um, before Valentine's Day this year because I promise you like people will go nuts over this I'm going nuts over it. We'll see how my toddler feels about it when she wakes up today, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna love it. Except I don't think she even knows what a sloth is, but it doesn't matter because he's so cute. <laughs> so that is it for this week's Tutorial Tuesday. Please let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments. And don't forget to come find me on Facebook and follow our Facebook page and you can get notified whenever we do the live videos that we do once a week and we kind of do this in person and answer some questions. So hope to see you guys on my lives and I'll see you next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye!